Hey there, I'm Morgan from Finding My Own. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. If you have a block or two, that's great. If not, no worries. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our backs. So you have options here. Always have options in yoga to make the practice work for you. I am going to take a block and come into a supported bridge place the block beneath your sacrum at whichever height feels good for you. You can also come into Sudabhada Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet to touch, knees fall open, or if you like, you can just take an active Shavasana, extending the legs long. Good, so choosing whichever pose makes you feel grounded, I'm ready to begin your practice. Just allowing ourselves to take some time to arrive in the body. Connecting to the breath. And first just noticing how does the body feel right now in this moment? How does the breath feel? Where are you feeling the breath? Is it in the belly? The chest? The throat? We'll go ahead and start to lengthen the breath, taking a deep, full breath, inhale, fill all the way up, exhale, open mouth, let it go, good, another deep, full inhale, filling up, exhale, sigh it out, Good, and we'll start to build that Ujjayi breath. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, inhale, fill up. Exhale through the nose to hug the belly in toward the spine. And inhale through the nose, gently constricting the back of the throat. Exhale through the nose, letting it go. Good, if the eyes are closed, blink them open. If you're in a supported bridge, move that block. We all are going to hug our knees in toward the chest. We'll give them a gentle squeeze, maybe a little rock side to side. Good, and then we're gonna grab for behind the thighs and rock and roll up two or three times until we roll over the knees, crossing at the ankles and come into tabletop pose. Um, I hope you don't mind my trusty yoga assistant here who has decided to join me. I'm going to try to move him so he doesn't distract us too much. Okay. In tabletop pose, we're going to come into cat cow. So on the inhale, come to cow pose. Drop the belly, press the heart through the upper arms. Exhale, cat, round and curl. Press the mat away from you. Good. Inhale, cow pose, belly drops, heart lifts. Exhale, round and curl. Good, and take these movements with your breath at your own pace. Maybe there are some sticky spots you'd like to hang out in. Maybe you want to sway side to side, shaking the tail right and left. Maybe taking some nice big hip circles forward and back. Good. One more round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. We're going to come back to a neutral spine, coming onto all fours. And from here, we are going to extend the right leg back and the left arm forward. Good. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, knee to elbow, connect. Inhale, lengthen, get long. Exhale, knee to elbow. 
but two more, breath in, breath out, inhale, lengthen, exhale, connect, but extend long here, plant that left palm down, and extend that right leg up and behind the left calf, press through the ball of the right foot, gaze over that left shoulder, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, just getting a nice IT band stretch here. Good, we'll come back onto all fours and take that on the other side. So the left leg will extend back, right arm forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach to elbow. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Two more, breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Lengthen out here. Lower the right palm down. Press that left leg up and behind that right calf. Press through the ball of your left heel. Knees over your right shoulder. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to all fours. Good, from all fours, we're gonna to come to downward dog. We'll inhale, tuck the toes, exhale, send the hips up and back. Don't worry, I got rid of that dog toy so we won't be hearing that anymore. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pedal out the feet, send the hips up high. Good, just bringing some gentle movement into the body. I don't know if anyone has done yoga with Adrian, but her dog, Benji is such a such a nice job just sitting next to her mad and not bothering her and clearly I need to work on that with Ronan but he's only one year old so we'll give him a break. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale, set the feet behind the wrists. Good. We'll inhale to a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Micro bend in those knees to bring the belly onto the thighs. Inhale, lengthen forward, lift the heart. Exhale, bow forward, fold. Good. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. From here, we're going to bring the left hand in between the feet. If you want to use a block here for an added lift, that would feel really nice. And we'll bend that uh, left knee and reach the right arm up to the sky. Good. Just taking a nice gentle twist to warm up. Right leg stays straight. Left knee is bent. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale, lower that right palm down. We'll switch sides, bend that right knee. The left arm reaches up. Good, trying to keep the hips squared here. Left arm reaches toward the sky, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale, release, fold forward. Good, you can move that block if it's in your way. Tuck the tailbone slowly, slowly roll up the spine. Good. We'll come to the top of the mat. Big toes touch. We'll begin to flow. Inhale, mountain pose, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees as you bow forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, heart lifts. Exhale, high plank, plant the palms and step it back. Good, pausing here, press the heels toward the back of the mat. Fingers spread wide, take a deep breath in and exhale, lower all the way down onto the belly. We'll untap the toes. Inhale, baby cobra, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, lengthen through the spine, take an inhale. Exhale, forehead to mat. Good, let's do that two more times. Inhale, baby cobra, shoulders roll back. Exhale, forehead to mat, lower down. One more, inhale. Exhale, lower. But inhale, the tabletop. Tuck the toes, press back, downward facing dog. 
good deep breath in deep breath out inhale and exhale inhale gaze forward and step to the top of the mat inhale lengthen heart lifts exhale bow forward inhale mountain pose or down reach up exhale hands to heart awesome inhale mountain pose reach up exhale forward fold bow forward good we'll inhale lengthen and exhale step that left foot back good stepping that left foot back we're on the ball of the back foot left hand will plant we'll inhale to a low lunge twist right arm reaches up to the sky good lengthening through the crown of that head full breath in full breath out inhale exhale bring that right hand down to the inside of that right foot we're going to toe heel around to the long side of the mat and both toes are going to face forward to the top of the mat so we'll bend into that right knee inhale and exhale slowly bend into the left knee good so you can just slide the fingertips back and forth on the mat you maybe use blocks just moving side to side getting some lateral movement in especially in yoga i find that a lot of our practices we don't do too much lateral movement so exploring this face from side to side good next time you bend into the left knee stay there and we are going to toe heel around toward the back of the mat so coming on to the ball of the right foot right hand plants left arm reaches up to the sky deep breath in deep breath out good just enjoying this twist inhale exhale good lower the left hand down to the mat gaze forward toward the back of the mat and step that right foot up to meet the left but we'll inhale to lengthen exhale fold forward inhale mountain pose reach up exhale hands to heart good awesome job inhale mountain exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift step that right foot back drop down onto the back knee untuck the toes and inhale rise up good in our low lunge here pulling that right hip forward engaging the core belly hugs in deep breath in deep breath out inhale exhale good from here we're going to inhale tuck the toes and exhale rise up into a high lunge good we're on the ball of that back foot take a deep breath in and a deep breath out good from here we're going to open up wide to star pose turning toward the side of the mat again good from here we're going to turn the toes out heels turn in take an inhale and exhale to goddess squat good deep breath in exhale drop that right shoulder down inhale to center exhale drop the left shoulder good inhale center exhale drop one more inhale center exhale drop good come back through center inhale star pose rise up and we are going to turn toward the front of the mat so swinging around forward come into high lunge bending into that right knee good we're on the ball that back left foot deep breath in deep breath out inhale exhale slowly lower down onto that left knee good untuck the toes low lunge lift the heart good relax with the shoulders deep breath in deep breath out inhale exhale frame that front foot turn up onto the fingertips 
Tuck the back toes, let the back leg step toward the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold forward. Good, inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Awesome job, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Good, inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step that left foot back, preparing for a side angle. So if you have that block and like to use it inside the right foot, the left arm will reach up. Good, and this first time around, maybe you wanna play with straightening the leg and bending into that knee. It's moving through the hips a bit more. Good, awesome job, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. And one more breath in. Breath out. Good. If you have that block, maybe move it over to the side. Hands come to the inside of that right foot. We're going to bend into that right knee. Flex that left foot coming into your skandasana. So toes are turned out, bending into the knee. Good, and we'll slowly switch over to the left. Good, again, I just like to slide my hands back and forth on the mat. If you're already feeling super warm, you wanna bring hands to heart, you absolutely can. Good, again, just enjoying that lateral movement, side to side, nice and slow. Good, staying with the breath. Next time you get over <clears throat> to that left side, excuse me, bend into that left knee. We are gonna stay here, left toes turn forward, right foot anchors down, parallel to the short edge of that mat. If you have a block you like to use, come back to side angle, this time on the left. Good, awesome job. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more breath in, one more breath out. Good, frame that front foot, come onto the ball of the right foot. Gaze forward as you tend up onto the fingertips, and hit. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold you forward. Good, beautiful job. Inhale, mountain pose, to reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain pose, maybe take a gentle baby back bend. Exhale, forward fold, bow forward. Good, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step that left foot, or excuse me, step that right foot back, coming onto the ball of that back foot. Good, we're gonna stay on the fingertips for a moment. Hands come to heart center. Lengthen the spine, take a breath in. Exhale, twist. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee. Good, stay nice and strong on that ball of the back foot. Palms pressed together, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good, big movement here, star pose. Open it up. Good. So we are going to play with a little balance in our lateral movement here. We are going to bend into that right knee, then slowly transition to a one-legged mountain. Good. Send it back toward your side lunge, toes face forward. Bring that right knee up to center. Try to balance for a moment. Good. Let's do three more. A little tricky, but fun. Good, one more. Oop. Awesome job. We're gonna go right into that other side. So this time bending into that left knee. Then the left knee comes up, bounce on the right leg. Ooh, maybe you wobble like me. Good, bend into that left knee. Left knee comes to the chest. Good, you've got three more. Two more. 
last one. Good. Set that left leg down. Good. Let's bring hands to hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bow forward. Make sure you have equal mat in front of both feet. Lower your hands onto the mat or blocks. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come to a flat back. Take a breath in. Exhale completely. And slowly rise up. Good. We are going to turn the right toes forward. Pivot on to that back foot, coming into a high lunge. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Good. Trying to cool that chest so it's in line with the thumbs at heart center. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Slowly lower the fingertips down to the mat. Gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, step feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, great job. Inhale to mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, toe heel, the feet to about mat width distance. And we're gonna sink down into our yogi squat. Good, so maybe swing side to side, getting a little more into those hips. Elbows press back into the inner thighs. And your yogi squat might not be low. Maybe you're up here. Wherever you're working, it's okay. It is where you're meant to be. It's part of your journey. No judgment, no comparison. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. From here, we're going to lower down onto our seats and come into boat pose, Navasana. Chest is proud, shoulders roll back, fingertips reach forward. Always an option to bring hands by your sides onto the mat. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, high boat. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Good. Stay with it. Inhales and exhales. You've got four more. You can do it for three, two, one. Hold at the top for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Cross your ankles, round forward, give yourself a hug. Awesome job. And deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. From here, we are going to come and roll over the ankles, come back through tabletop, and press back to a down dog. Good. Let's take a chaturanga to clear out our flow. Inhale, shift forward the high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Good, deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're gonna raise that right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip. Good, I love this stretch. Full breath in, full breath out. Straighten that right leg. Step it through for warrior two. Good, rising up, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, we are going to come into half moon. If you like to use a block, make sure it's toward the front of your mat. Take an inhale and slowly shift forward, lowering the fingertips 
onto the mat or your block. Flexing through that left foot. Good, sing long through the sides of the waist. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, we are going to shift forward, squaring the hips, preparing for standing split. So inhale, lengthen the heart, both fingertips on the mat. Exhale, bow forward, standing split. And using the strength of that left glute to lift that leg up high to the sky. If you want to play with your balance, you can try to wrap the hands around the ankle. Good, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring hands back to the mat if they're not already there. From here, we're gonna bend that left knee, hug it in toward the right knee. And then we're gonna slide that left knee behind the right and lower down onto a seat. Good, so the, when we're sitting down, the left knee is bent, hugged in toward that right hip. Right foot is in front of the left thigh. Good, right hand's gonna come behind the spine. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, twist it out. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, twisting. Good. We are going to gently unravel and do a little switcheroo. So we're going to start to come over that left shoulder. Hands will walk around and then we're going to come into a downward dog. So facing the back of the mat, <laughs> just untwisting ourselves. Good. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bend that knee, open the hip. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Straighten the left leg. Exhale, step it through. Warrior two, rise up. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale, preparing for half moon, slowly shifting forward, lowering the left hand down to mat or block. Right foot is flexed, really anchoring down through the knuckle of the left big toe. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale, slowly bring that right hand down. Square the hips, lengthen the heart, inhale. And exhale, slowly bow forward, standing split. Right glute engages to lift that right leg up higher. If you want to play with the balance, grabbing for that left ankle, feel free. Most importantly, you're breathing. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, gently release that ankle if you have it. Bend that right knee, hug it in. Send that right knee behind the left. Slowly bend into that left knee. And come down onto a seat. Left ankle is crossed over that right thigh. Good, left hand comes behind the back. Inhale, right arm reaches up, breath in. Exhale, twist. Good, inhale the lengthen. Exhale, twisting. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Slowly unwind and we are gonna uncross the legs and come into a wide straddle. So, taking a seat, legs come out wide on the mat. We'll inhale to lengthen and exhale, slowly walk it forward. So keeping the ankles flexed, bowing forward, you can create a little pillow with your forearms or the backs of your hands or use a block beneath the forehead. 
to a hold here for a few breaths, letting gravity do the work, giving our hips some time to open and time to release. Getting a nice inner thigh stretch here for those lateral movements that we did today. Breath in, deep breath out, slowly begin to walk it up. We're going to do some side body stretches here. So sometimes we forget to the lateral bends of the upper body too, so let's stretch that out. Good, from here, inhale, reach the right arm up and over as you bend toward the left leg. Good, so you can use a block here for support. It might be helpful to bend that left forearm for support, but just play with it, see what feels good to you. We really wanna focus on staying long through the side body, so we're not rounding forward and we really feel this in the sides of the waist. Good, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Gently lift up slightly. Square the shoulders over that leg. Take a breath in and exhale. Bow forward. Good. Now we can round and release the spine. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Slowly walk it up. And we'll switch sides again. Maybe you place that right forearm inside the thigh or just extend long through the leg. Inhale and exhale up and over. Staying long through the sides of the waist. No, it's not about reaching that foot. It's about feeling that stretch in the left side body. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale, pull them around, breath in, breath out. Good, gentle lift, inhale, square the shoulders, exhale, bow forward over that right shin. Deep breath in, deep breath out, inhale. Exhale. Go ahead, gently rise up. We're going to take a butterfly pose. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet touch, knees go out wide. Maybe a little sway, flap those wings a bit. Inhale, lengthen the heart. Exhale, fold it forward. Good, when you can't go any forward, allow the head and neck to round to be soft. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, inhale, slowly rise up. Let's come all the way down onto our backs. Good, so just lowering down, preparing to get nice and comfy. We're gonna hug the knees in toward the chest. Take happy baby. Press your low back into the mat. Maybe straighten out one leg at a time. Maybe just swaying it out. It's getting any last movements out that your body is asking for today. Good. And when you feel ready, we'll hug those knees up and toward the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale. Exhale to your Shavasana. Sending arms and legs long on the mat. Palms face the sky. 
I'm just fully releasing and letting go. Trusting that what you did today was enough. You are enough, both on and off your mat, whether you step on your mat every day or not, inherently you are enough just as you are. Allow yourself to rest, to be still, to be soft. you to stay in your shavasana as long as you would like. If you're ready to continue with your day, gently bring some movement back into the body and reach the arms overhead. And bend the knees, roll over onto your right side using the bicep as a pillow. Press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Meet with hands at heart center. Take a deep breath, inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Another deep breath, inhale. Exhale, side out. May you feel strong in your body. May you feel at peace in your mind. And may you feel love in your heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you.